Fat is an important part of your diet, but figuring out how much to eat per day can be confusing. In this video, I'm looking at the different types of fats and have some suggestions about how much fat you should eat per day. The latest US dietary guidelines don't have an upper limit for how much fat you should eat per day because it's not the dietary demon that we were once told it was. Now, aside from trans fats, most fats have beneficial or at least neutral effects on health. How much fat is healthy to eat per day? The appropriate amount of fat to eat per day depends on your calorie requirements for weight loss or maintenance. It also depends on your eating style and diet. A standard low fat diet contains about 30% of calories from fat or less. Now here are a few examples of suggested daily fat ranges for a low fat diet based on different calorie goals. It's 15, for 1500 calories, uh, you'd have about 50 grams of fat per day. For 2000 calories, it's 67 grams. And for 2500 calories, it's about 83 grams of fat per day. A moderate fat Mediterranean diet. Now this diet typically provides 35 to 40% of calories from fat, including plenty of monounsaturated fat from olive oil. Now other sources of fat uh, are plant and animal foods such as fish, meat, eggs, dairy, extra virgin olive oil, um, fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. Now here's a few examples of suggested daily fat ranges from, for a Mediterranean diet um, based on different calorie goals. So for 1500 calories, it's about 58 to 60, uh, 67 grams of fat per day. For 2000 calories, it's about 78 to 89 grams. And for 2500 calories, it's about 97 to 111 grams of fat per day. It's important to note that studies show higher fat diets like the Mediterranean diet are actually much healthier than the standard low fat diet. The percentage of calories from fat for a high fat, low carb or ketogenic diet uh, will depend on how low your carb intake is, but it will generally be between 50 to 75% of calories. Here are a few examples of suggested daily fat ranges uh, for a low carb or ketogenic diet based on different calorie goals. So you've got 1500 calories, it would be about 83 to 125 grams of fat per day. For 2000 calories, you're looking at upwards of 167 grams. And for 2500, it's 139 to 208 grams of fat per day. Now, not everyone agrees on the health aspects of this eating pattern, but perhaps more importantly, hardly anyone manages to actually eat like this for a long period of time. So keep that in mind. Foods high in healthy fat. Regardless of the type of diet you follow, it's important to get a wide range of healthy fats from the foods that you do eat. While most foods contain a mixture of different fats, some are particularly high in certain types. Monounsaturated fats are found in most plant and animal foods, but some foods are especially rich in them. These include olives and olive oil, macadamia nuts, almonds, pecans, hazelnuts, pistachios, peanuts, avocados, pork, and beef. As for polyunsaturated fat, uh, there's two types. There's omega-3 and there's omega-6. Now, omega-6 fats are present in most plant and animal foods, uh, including those I just mentioned uh, just then, but getting adequate omega-3 fats takes a little more work. Now, foods rich in omega-3s include salmon, sardines, herring, mackerel, anchovies, chia seeds, flax seeds, and walnuts. For saturated fat, the healthy foods that are high in this particular fat include whole milk dairy, such as full-fat yogurt, uh, cheddar cheese, uh, lamb, beef, and most meats, uh, and coconut oil. Now just remember that saturated fat is neither healthy or unhealthy. Uh, it's neutral for health. I wouldn't worry about it in everyday foods, but on the flip side, don't go eating it in extreme or unusual quantities. Fats serve a number of important functions, as well as making your food taste good and helping you feel satisfied. Eating the right types in the right amount can go a long way to reducing disease risk and enhancing your overall health. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and don't forget to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.